This really puts into perspective for us. Since March, more than 11 million Americans have contracted COVID-19. The vast majority of them recovered thanks to antibodies. But how long do those antibodies actually last? A reveal investigative team recently tested two recovered patients for antibodies, including our very own Andy Parati. Are you nervous? Oh, yeah. Catherine Riley is about to take a test she's been anxious to get for months. This past July, she tested positive for COVID-19 and wants to know whether she still has the antibodies that helped her recover. It's a really big question right now, and I'm also curious about what that means. Inside an Atlanta urgent care in October, I joined Wiley to take an antibody test too. A nursing assistant took two samples of our blood for a test that cost $175 each. Wiley, an 11 Alive digital producer, had a mild case of COVID that lasted five days. Um, I definitely ran a fever. I was very tired. I slept for about five days. My COVID-19 case, more elevated, lasted nearly two weeks in early March. Still feeling crummy, 103 fever. Three days after taking our antibody tests, our results were in. I'm about to bring him up. I'm logging in. At this point, Wiley recovered a little more than three months before getting the antibody test. That's about as long as researchers predict antibodies are most effective before levels diminish. And here's what the test revealed. Oh, it's negative. 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 Um, it says that my sample did not contain any detectable antibodies. Does that surprise you? Yeah, it does. <laughs> Um, I thought for sure it would be positive. Now it's my turn for the results. Did you hear back? I did. Did so you eight, have them? I had the antibodies. Interesting. Eight months later. So what do the results mean? Do I have immunity and Wiley doesn't? The answer is complicated. First, my results came with a disclaimer saying you have some sort of immunity or protection against COVID-19, at least for now. Science hasn't caught up with the knowledge of how long the immunity will last. Dr. Anthony Fauci, the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, echoed a so similar bad, sentiment protected. last month. There are some people who have high levels of antibody but they're not really neutralizing antibodies that might actually not protect you. Most experts say a drop in antibody levels after recovering is expected and not altogether concerning. Plus, antibodies are not the body's only weapons to fight off viruses. Previously infected patients typically produce something called memory cells that can recall certain pathogens and quickly mobilize a defense against reinfection. Still, Fauci cautions having a false sense of security. A handful of people who recovered have contracted COVID-19 again. I think there are so many unknowns we better put a pause and say we're not going to make any definitive statements about what an antibody test means, except to say it means that you were infected. The most common type of antibody test only tells you whether you have antibodies. That's the one we used. There are other tests that measure the level of antibodies, but those are typically more difficult to find and more expensive. You can learn more about that test in this story on 11alive.com.